<laughs> this is good. All right, so today we're out the field and we're going to talk about a maneuver uh, called the hammerhead, which I call it the hammerhead because I like the name. Sounds um, good. You know, but uh, Jason's going to tell us the actual name of it, uh, what's referred to in iMac, and how you go about performing this maneuver. Yeah, so, so most of us call it the hammerhead. Uh, the official term is stall turn, yeah. uh, which kind of describes exactly what it is. You're going to stall and you're going to turn. Uh, it's a really neat maneuver when it's performed correctly. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of sport pilots that are out there and a lot of people that are attempting the maneuver don't necessarily fly it correctly. They, they fly it in a way that is a gamble, whether or not you're going to time it right. And uh, I'll kind of explain what I mean there. That's so, me. Yeah, so let's talk about the, the definition in IMAC terms. Now, you don't have to fly it like this. It, you know, you're not judged when you're out sport flying or flying with a cub or having fun at the field. But the, the, the scoring criteria are flying a wing corrected upline, um, being totally vertical when you get to stall. You want to pivot on basically the center of, gra center of gravity of the plane. So when you get to stall, you want the plane to turn perfectly around. You don't want the tail to wag after the stall turn on the way down, because that's a deduction each wag. And you want to fly straight back down in the path you flew up when corrected once you start gaining airspeed. Where people make a mistake is they'll go full throttle, they'll pull their upline, they'll cut the throttle, they'll wait till the plane almost start, stops, and then they'll jam rudder in hopes they still have enough airflow over the rudder to, to kick the it. plane around. One of two things usually happens. They'll kick it too soon and the plane will wing over, which every wingspan you wing over is a point deduction in IMAC, which you don't want. Um, and the farther you go, the lower your, your score gets. And if you're way early, you can you know, deduct five points easily. Yeah. Um, the second thing that'll happen is they'll, they'll cut the throttle, they'll wait till the plane stops, they'll jam the rudder, there'll be no airflow over the rudder and the plane will flop. If they get lucky, it might fall like this, but that's very rare. Nine yeah, times it just out flops. Of 10, it flops to the belly or flops to the canopy, depending on where their upline was. So the way we, we fix this is using what I call hover throttle. So I pull my upline, establish my line. If I have something on the upline, like a two or four or a four point roller or anything on the upline, I do that. I, I reestablish my upline. I bring the throttle back to usually around a third is where a plane will hover. Wait till the plane comes to a stop. Uh, today we have a nice cloudy day, so we'll have some good uh, reference, reference for the video, which yeah. will be good for people to see. Wait till the momentum of the plane stops, still at hover throttle, which creates airflow over the rudder, giving us rudder authority. I go to full rate everything. I have a, a, a single switch that controls my, my flight modes. So I have high rate everything, because when you're at stall like that, you need control. You know, sometimes the plane might want to go towards the belly. You need to be able to fix that. Kick the rudder pivot it as the plane gets about here you get out of the throttle so it doesn't pull the plane sideways and start deducting points when you get out of the throttle you also click back to low rates everything and then as soon as the plane gets to the vertical line i tap a little opposite rudder that was something i learned from a, a clinic i went to that mark leesburg was yeah, teaching. Yeah. that was really cool uh, because as i talked about the the tail wag is a deduction it's funny you well. talk about mark please we'll go ahead i'll we'll, we'll talk around. about that later yeah no. uh, anyways so so yeah so you tap opposite rudder you don't want to hammer it or hold it uh just to stop the the plane from going too far and having a pendulum to correct you fly your down line and you pull to exit uh, another uh, criteria is the same radius going in as coming out so you want to take note as you rate you know fly your radius in and uh and that's 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 how you fly the hammerhead or the stall turn um there seems like a lot going on there you know, when, we, when we sit and explain it, but really, once you get used to these things, it becomes second nature. You know, like I said, I, I fly one rate, so I, it's second nature for me when I pull my vertical line, do my things, get ready for my stall turn, come back to hover throttle. I automatically flip to my high rates, do my stall turn. It's just muscle memory at that point when I get out of the throttle. When I get out of the high rates, tap the opposite rudder, and down we come. Yeah. So that's the stall turn. Yeah, well, that's, that's funny. You mentioned Mark Leesburg, and I was at um, uh, Electric Fun Fly in Arizona, mm -hmm. and uh, I was out there flying. And so he was watching me do stall turns, and because I was just, you want me to help you? I said, dude, I would love you to help me, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice, he he's says a nice that. guy. He says that. Oh, yeah, you, you, you have say, to say yes. It doesn't no. matter. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. You have to say yes. Dude, I don't care whatever it yeah. is. Even if help anyone's me. You know, tucking your shirt, yeah. whatever it is, just doesn't matter. go for it. But uh, he was the one that uh, told me about yeah. that, you know, like, get out of the, he says, you live in the rudder in too long. He said, get out of it sooner. He yeah. said, and tap a little bit when you come down this way. And the minute I did it, it looked beautiful. The first yeah. time I did it, it looked beautiful. Yeah. I said, dude, man, thank you. I said, nobody's told me that. I've asked other people. They say, oh, yeah, you got to do this. You got to wait till it stalls. He said, no, no. He was the one that said, you know, same thing with 
hover. Yeah, and, and Mark uh, <coughs> flies full scale aerobatics. He flo flies yeah. IAC, and he, uh, at the time he was flying a Yak 55. And uh, he was telling us, you know, when he does the hammerhead, when he comes around and he sees his downline, he jams full opposite rudder to stop yeah, yeah. to stop it. And it really helps. You know, some people will come out of the high rate back to low rate and they'll keep a little of the rudder in, which works as well and keeps from the tail wag. But what happens then is you, you rotate around and the plane will actually rotate a little past. And you hold that in and slowly ease it out. Ease which it out, yeah. If a judge is really paying attention, they'll ding you a little bit for that change in heading. But... Uh, there's just little tricks you can do, you know, and it, it, it's just the big thing is just maintaining that power to to stand the plane on. Keep the tail, authority at the at the stall. Kick it around and bring it down, and it's just a fun maneuver. You can do different things with it. You know, I, I incorporate it into my freestyle sometimes when I'm out just fun flying. Even on high rates, I'll do you know 50 feet off the runway, do a hammerhead, and then just slam it into an elevator, and then you know harrier by, and then pop up into another one, and it's just. It's just fun. You can do, you know, you can do them in the middle. You can you can do one on the end, come back to the middle of the field, pull up, do one right in front of you, quarter roll out, push. Once of stuff. you get comfortable with it, you can just you can mess with it and have a yeah. good time. And it's a good turnaround maneuver and it's just it's you know, if you have a short field, it helps you get back in. Yep. It's and just, it's fun with all planes. I love doing it with cubs. It yeah. just looks cool. You know, yeah. actually my, my five year old son he he'll yell at me, Dad, do a hammerhead and he just he loves it. So yeah. All right, so we're going to go out there and show you this maneuver. Uh, Jason will talk you through it, and uh, you can have fun with it, start practicing it. Uh, you know, if you guys ever get video clips of you doing this maneuver and get there, feel free to, you know, pop it in and let us know, and uh, we'll try to get it up on our site, too, and show, show what you've done. So don't be afraid to put that down in the comments below. Anything else? That's good. I hope you guys learned something today. All right, stay tuned. We'll be giving you more soon. All right, so we got a beautiful day here out at the Marks Club, flying the AJ Laser. Got some nice clouds as a background, so we can uh, get some reference of the plane's motion, which is good for the video. So as we talked about, we're gonna pull to a nice vertical upline, go to high rate everything, because we're gonna be near stall. Hover throttle, plane stops moving, kick it over. Low rudder, a little bit opposite to stop the tail wag. Flyer downline, same radius out. Fly to the other side, we'll do it again. I'm just gonna fly a bunch of hammers. Hammers are actually a lot of fun. Fun with any plane. Pull to a nice vertical upline. High rate everything. Back. As soon as we stop our motion, kick it over off the throttle. Little bump, opposite rudder. Same radius out. Now we'll do it in the center box. Pull to a vertical upline. We'll count one and quarter roll. One and there we go. Hover throttle. Pull our same radius. Pull vertical up line. Nice sun there, nice clouds. High rate everything. Hover throttle, you could actually hold it here for a while if you wanted to. Kick it over, off the throttle, low. Little opposite rudder, stop the tail wag. Same radius out. You do this as a center box maneuver without the roll. Go up here, a little harder to judge this way, but same thing, high rate everything. Kick it over. And then we push to go out. And we can do it belly towards us. Now we're steering the tail, push the tail the way you want it to go. High rate everything. Hover throttle, kick it over. Go. Half roll. And pull. Just a fun maneuver. You know, you can fly it tall. If you were in, in iMac, let's say you had a full roll on the way up, you'd pull and go one and full roll. One, and hover throttle. No airspeed, kick it over. No tail wag, pull roll on the way down. And pull. These are also fun to do just in high rates all the time. Sometimes when I'm flying my freestyle routine, I'll do the same thing. So you're not gonna go to a low elevator. Sorry about the timer, or I'm sorry, not to go to your low rates. You're gonna keep it in 3D the whole time. So sometimes I'll do a nice low, we'll pop it up. Kick it over. Do almost an elevator here. And pop up into another one. Back to our throttle. Key is having airflow over your surface.
This is why you want high rates. Just a fun maneuver to do different things with. You can, all, you can play around all you want, have a good time. Go back to low rates, high rate for the hammer. Little opposite bump there. Just gotta work with the timing. Like I said, you don't wanna rely on timing the throttle. A lot of people will do this, and this is where they make a mistake. They'll go full throttle, they'll cut the throttle completely, wait till almost zero airspeed, and then you got nothing, and it just flops. And that's a zero in iMac, and it doesn't look cool when you're just free flying either. So that's why you wanna go to your vertical upline, go to your high rates, hover throttle so you have air, air flow over your surfaces, Take it over. That was a little late on the, I got out of the throttle a little too early on that one. <coughs> <coughs> All right, here we go again, full vertical. High rate everything, nice upline. Back to hover throttle. Zero minute momentum, take it over. Out of the throttle, little opposite rudder, keep it from wagon. And pull. And that is the hammerhead. It's pretty good, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Nice, I think nice we job, got some man. good footage. Oh, I think so, hold, too. Hold on a second. You still watching? What the hell, dude? Why are you not clicking the subscribe button? You stuck around this long. Yeah, give us a like on this video while you're here. At least, yeah. And get your friends. Tell them to like it. Some people. You got you to gotta talk with all of them, you know. But we still like them. Yeah, we still like them. All right. <laughs> so today we're out at the field, we're going to talk a little bit about a maneuver that uh, is kind of fun to do. Uh, it's called the hammerhead, and I mean just the fact that it says hammerhead is fun right there. So uh, Jason, tell us a little bit about this, uh, this you know, hammerhead maneuver. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's referred to as the hammerhead. I think the official term is stall turn. Um, it, it, the, the description is in the name. It's a, you stall and you turn. So um, it is a lot of fun when performed correctly. It's one of my, my favorite maneuvers to watch because you're playing with my jacket. Yeah, why don't I, there you go, there you go. That looks way better. All right. Let's start over. No, I, I want to keep that in there, because we're close, we're, we're, we're like that. We're like that, okay. Right. We're, like, so, we're like that. Yeah, like that, okay. Well, his legs are like that. All right. <laughs> you're mad about it. <laughs> I am. Okay, back serious business. Okay, cool. All right. That's true. Leesburg did that. Man. He came yeah, out he exactly. Did that, um, they did the <coughs> Leesburg Memorial event out at uh, the Tempa Field where the shootouts held after his brother had passed away. Yeah, yeah. Driving home to the shootout. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, and he he came out and did a, a weekend clinic. And the funny thing was, he actually flew used my Dalton for his his sample plane, and he was just showing us over and over and over. And I was like, wow, that plane can do some pretty nice hammerheads. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, hammerheads actually the only maneuver I've ever gotten a ten on an iMac. See there. Yep. I love I I love I love the hammer. It's a fun fun maneuver. Yeah, it is. A, it's it's a it's a fun maneuver to do with anything. Yep. 